going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i'm going to be trying this out i'm going to try on the silver one this is the rad company eagle edgeless this is one of the things you'll be winning in that video so i wanted to try this out because they have this in gallon and i've got other ones i've got another video uh further back i'm using a tripod right now <clears throat> i want to try on silver so you see if there's a difference and I don't like straight stream there we go we're gonna see if it's oh my gosh definitely has a nice citrus scent it is a pleasant scent it's not overpowering I'm not doing any water testing or none of that right now got a couple bird and poo spots here I think that might be a that chip. No, that's bird doo doo. Just been stuck on here a couple of days. I'm gonna do one more wipe just to see if it leaves any kind of slickness just by hand feel. dry end of microfiber and another dry end and wipe it down good and make sure it's nice and dry yeah it's actually pretty slick compared to that you can't hear it I'm sure but it does it does leave some slickness behind now one another, one of the other products I'm going to test is the hydro glide so let's finish the panels and all here. I'm gonna do because they're not dirty enough to need to clean the whole thing yet, and it's gonna be raining this week, so I don't want to give it a super super clean with the pressure washer and all until the rain kind of gets out of here for a little while. But I keep them pretty clean. I've already washed them a couple of times before now, so they're not super dirty. They're just some dust and some dirt and road grime. Boy, it does leave nice, nice slickness. We'll have to test the hydrophobicness of it. And one thing I notice on these videos, people do, whether it's ceramic or paint sealant or wax or anything they go right after they're done and the product hasn't even had an hour to cure and they go right to fiber hydrophobic testing it don't do that give it a day or so to set up <laughs> that's whether you're using a wax or anything it looks like there's a scratch there so i might have to buff that out don't know where that came from but yeah, I don't like that. Well, try to take it out with some scratchy soil remover first, but I think that's... No, it's not fingernail deep, so maybe it'll... Maybe it's just a surface abrasion. It looks kind of deeper than... Scratch. Might have to touch that up and then re-clear it and buff it and get it out, but we'll see. That is irritating. Don't remember that being there last time. I'm almost certain it wasn't. But I am going to finish this up and then I'll do one on the other one. You can feel a difference. I can I can tell you you can feel a difference on that surface for sure. Compared to if you go over to here. It's very feels very eh, like grimy. Not grimy, but not slick either. Like you, you wouldn't want to rub your hand on it. But maybe I'll do some hydrophobic testing on this after about a couple days. If it doesn't rain. One evening when I get off from work. But I'm getting nice and dry. I've got mother too. So we're going to go over and do one on the Silverado. So I'm going to do that truck too. This one's a little less dirty. I'm actually probably going more dirty 
don't know if you can see it, it's white, so it's not as easy to tell. I can tell you, if you like the smell of orange, you will definitely like this because it smells like orange. So if you love the smell of orange at all, you're definitely going to like this, the scent of this. Now what I'll do after video is I'll take one to clean it and I'll take one fresh one to go behind it. This is just for demonstration purposes. Now I've got some touching up to do here as well. Some of there's just a little more clingy. Definitely a difference. Let's see. Underneath still looks good, so that's holding up. We'll do a review on that here. After a little while, but there you go. So that's it for video this video guys. I'm gonna finish these both these vehicles up. And the next one will be probably the Hydro Glide and then the Hydro Blitz. Um I don't think they make either of those in a gallon. I don't know if they will, but this is doing pretty good if it does good enough. I might get this in a gallon, try something else. I do have something coming tomorrow, so if you wanna see me test out different stuff and whatnot, and other truck mods I'm gonna be doing to this truck along the way, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit notifications, all good stuff, guys. It goes a long way in helping the channel, and maybe I'll do this in a giveaway if I like it enough, or the Hydro Glide or something else, Hydro View, whatever, Adams Polishers, whatever it might be. I like some of their stuff too. Um, Meguiar's, um, whatever, Turtle Wax. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm gonna finish these up. So remember once we get to 100 subscribers, doing a free giveaway. So keep that in mind guys. So until next time, enjoy your ride guys. Love y'all, appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one, peace.